Good morning. I'm burning up hot and I can't breathe because I just got done finishing from um, exercising. But I wanted to go live for a couple of minutes this morning and talk about how everybody should be in recovery for something because we're all fucked up. And learning that kind of helps you look at people a little differently. Had a little bit of a um, epiphany moment yesterday when I watched a really old Russell Brand thing um, from when he was doing the trues. It was like four years old. And um, it was all about, and I put it up on my wall. I don't know if you saw it or not. It was about, is there a God and how this atheist proved to him that there was a God and talked about, hey, how you doing, Nakoma? Um, how that the universe couldn't just be a coincidence, that there was some sort of intelligence that put it all together. And that if everything was just off by a hair, the sun wouldn't have ignited, neither would any of the stars, all of that stuff. So it's not happenstance that we're here. Uh, and we're all part of the, that, that whole thing, life things had to be just right for that whole thing to happen for us to even just be here. And so everybody's here on purpose. Everybody's here for a reason. And the, that there is good and bad in the universe. And so therefore there is good and bad in everybody. It's up to the choices that we make. And when you have to deal with other people and things, you understand that there's a line in all of us that could be crossed at any time. So we make choices to be who we are and to react the way that we do. And when we have a problem with somebody or we are going through some kind of stuff, we need to understand that that's just part of the human collective. And we also need to understand that we could just as easily do the thing that somebody else is doing. And isn't that what really happens, right? So we get into some kind of a tiff with, a, a friend and it's a bad one and instead of trying to hey Karen um, resolve the issue or give people space or react in a different fashion what we do is try to get even with people or try to hurt people just as bad as they hurt us so we need to move past that and understand that we have control over that and that we that when we act out that way we're just as bad as the person that is harming us. So if we're trying not to pluck the web with any kind of negativity so it doesn't come back at us, we really need to change the way we react towards things. This is the hardest lesson that I've ever had. But coming to a place of understanding that other people are just as fucked up as I am kind of helps a little bit. Like with that lady the other night at the, at the restaurant that was saying the N-word, I just looked at her as a person that was flawed, hurting, and also tried to approach her as if a little kid was standing at my table saying those things, how would I react to a child saying the N-word at my table? And that's why I resorted to just saying, we don't say that at our table. So you guys need to help me. I'm going to call you all out to call me out when the attacks, because I did it last night. I was being passive aggressive on my wall last night. I sure the fuck was. Um, that's not what we should be doing. We should, if, if we move out of people's lives, if we, and, and the people that I was, was being passive aggressive to, I chose to move away from. So why the fuck am I like swiping at them? It's so stupid. So we, we have to understand if somebody removes themselves from us or we remove ourselves from them. It's, it's for a reason and we need to step back and take some introspect into ourselves and realize that it's for the greater good that we do that because we're trying to find peace. We're trying to stay connected to the divine source and if we're busy fucking around with people and playing cat and mouse, that's not gonna happen. That's just gonna mess up our entire like experience, our entire way of trying to stay connected to that source. So today and for the rest of the weekend, because I don't know if I'll go live tomorrow. I know I said that yesterday, but I don't know if I'll go live tomorrow or not. Just try to get all the people that you meet, people that are driving down the road that you don't even know, somebody in the grocery store, at a restaurant, whatever it is, wherever you are, try to 
to take yourself out of the moment, look at them as a child and react to them that way. How would you react to a child? And I'm not saying you don't react at all because I think that there are things like that lady that came up to us and said the N word that really needed to be dealt with. But we can deal with things in a more positive fashion than trying to escalate it or causing more problems. All that it did that night when I looked at her and said, we don't say that over and over again, her was just shut her down. So the only thing she could come back with was you were coming on to my boyfriend. Okay, go sit down. I mean, that was the end of it. And it was very easy. And she didn't, she looked like she was diffused. At least that's how I took it when I looked at her in the face. And that's what we want to do. We want to diffuse the situation so that we can keep our peace and keep the peace of the people around us because we're plucking the web and we don't want that to come back at us. Karen says, it's okay to slip if you recognize it and use it. Yeah, I'm, I suck at it so far, but you know, I accept myself where I am right now. Um, and I accept that, that, there are these sides of me that I have to de de uh, deal with, and that's what shadow work is all about. And, and right now with uh, Pluto in retrograde, it's a very good time to work with all of this stuff that lies under the surface, the, the self you don't really show to people until you're fucking ticked off, right? So that's where I need to be so that – because I need to make my experiences be positive, you know? I, ne I need that. I need more positivity and less negativity in my life. I need more peace and less anxiety in my life, and I think we all probably need that. Karen says it's all about not functioning on lower frequencies like that lady. She was trying to draw you into hers. Yep, she was, and she didn't succeed, And um, but but you you have to deal with it. You just have to deal with it in a way that's probably not – um, well, at least for me, it was not normal for me and not something that I had, you know, nor historically done before. So I did it. We can all do it. You guys can do it, too. So have a peaceful, lovely Saturday. Peace.